guys, um, I don't have good news, uh, and I'm really, really sorry for that. However, I did just want to update you on what's going on. And I'm really sad to say I don't know where her body is. Um, whether it be alive or not, I don't know at this point, and I'm going to get into that today. Uh, the fact of the matter is, I've proven in the last videos, last uh, two, three videos I've made, that Jay Station has her. He has her body, and I just want to know so badly that she's okay, but it's not looking good, and I don't think she's safe. I don't... I want, I want to believe she's alive. I really do. I like Alexia a lot. The last thing I want is for an innocent person to be taken by a sick and twisted YouTuber or any individual by that, for that matter. What we do know is Jay has her phone. Why he has her phone and is using it, I don't know. She should have her phone and should be using it. Is she unable to use it? Is she unable to get to it? Is she unable to reach it? Is she unable to reach her friends and family? That's what I'm concerned about. Is she being held captive against her will? That's what I need to know about. I had somebody... Mitchell, please, this is a very serious topic. I can give you attention in a minute. And I had that long conversation on recording that is in my previous video. And she said and she proved in that voice recording that Jay called her in the text message that I released between her and Alexia's phone. Jay had written that text himself. That's what I'm worried about. Jay has her body somewhere and he has her phone and is using her phone because he called my informant and bawled her out, got mad at her. And then, and then doxed her, put her number out there on Instagram. Horrible. Horrific. How dare he do that with his power and, and reach on YouTube? How dare he? So Kavos is making a video on this later. I'm really hoping that he gets the hashtag trending. Hashtag Alexia is not safe because she's not safe and we've proven that. She's in the hands of an angry person. Her family hasn't heard from her. Her friends haven't heard from her. I'm honestly very, very worried. He deleted all the videos on Dream Team after I released my uh, very, very uh, uh, progressive information, very progressive in this investigation. Uh, it really worried him. Please don't rustle anything back there, Mitchell. I want these folks to be able to hear me. Um, I'm just uptight right now. I'm on edge. I'm really worried and really scared to get the news that she's not alive and she, that she was found not alive. That's what I'm most worried about. And I'm, I'm, I'm urging the police to please knock on his door and interview him. You need to find her body and you need to find it now for the sake of her family and for the sake of everyone following this story. He then put all the videos back on Dream Team, very, very nervous. Like I said, he called my informant very angry that she was informing me of the text messages she got from Alexia's phone. He put her Instagram back up. He took her LinkedIn down. He took her Facebook down now. It's <laughs> He's freaking out and he's reminding me of someone who doesn't have good intentions and has possibly hid a body. I'm scared. We need to get down to this. And what you can do is you can make a video with hashtag in the title, Alexia is not safe. And you can also tweet that. And you can tweet it at the news sources, the bigger ones. I'm the god of news, but I don't have the reach of Scarce or Teamstar. I'm worried. Thanks for watching.